Hey guys, it's Saturday here, and um, in today's episode, I want to make a tree farm. So um, you can see the thing that's um rotating behind me. That will be the future um tree farm, and behind that is um some water wheels to power things on this island. So as you saw in the beginning, there was a way that um. Well, I turned on the combo gen, so the combo gen will go to the ground, and then come over here, and, um, next episode I want to combine everything that we did, and hopefully get the end of sight, um, for the kinetic mechanism come completely automated. But, to do that, I need a bit of bronze, or, or, or brass, rather, because, as you see here, there's an issue where if we put a regular andesite funnel here, it will just pull out everything. So we need a brass funnel to um, filter out the algal blend. So for now, I will just be manually doing this. Just for getting that. And then, um, yeah, let's do this uh, tree farm. Right now we have only one tree and, oh, uh, well. Only one sapling, and we need to get some some deployers to automatically place the saplings. So we'll do that. So this is a bit um semi-automated, but it will work. This is working, which is great. Hey guys, it's been. Probably an hour so since the, since the previous cut, and I added some filters here. So this is constantly working. Um, so I added like some sort of, some sort of buffer. So these barrels are the storage drawers get full. Do we have this chest? And I also have another buffer for the, um, and the site cobble. So um, the end of site cobble will go to the weighted ejector. And if there's a certain amount on here, I believe it's half a stack or or something like that. So that flies all the way over here. All the way into this basin. So as you see here, um I see some Cobble, regular cobble in here for some particular reason. But anyway, so what I want to do now is to have the algal blend from all the way here. What I want to do with the rest of the episode is to get the uh, slabs automated. So the um wood and all of the stuff you get from an oak tree will end up here. So I think what I need to do is set up a conveyor belt like I have like I have all the way over here. Or the different things you would get from the oak. So one storage drawer for sticks, apples, um saplings, then there would be then it would just continue on, and it would go into the the three different saws. So let me set up this conveyor belt system over there, and um, I'll be back. So let's actually just um go over this quickly. Well, we finally finished it. That's it. Oh, overview. Um, sure. What's this? Oh, just that. Um, so um, we finally did this. Like ninety percent of the way there. So hey, what's this? Uh, okay. So we got this done. That's 
completely done on the this. We just need to get the the strip variant. Um, so we need to get that. Uh, we got that automated. Um, that is where it's already coming up. This is good. We we need to get the sand. We got that. Man, I got dark. I gotta sleep. We just need to get some of these items from the forest just to um just to complete them because we automated clay. We got the all gal blend and uh, we just we need to get a brass funnel to get the algae cooking and then um that will be combined and then we got this like ninety percent done. So we have the strip log, we got the planks and the slabs, um, we just need to get the, um, automation for the, uh, for this contraption. So we gotta do this. We just need a mechanical belt and some deployers. So, um, let me figure this stuff out. Uh, it wasn't exactly easy to figure this out. Some things, it just stops because of this. Yeah, it's completely working. Um, what I have to do is just when they go away, that this will just work. Um, so what we gotta do now is connect mechanical belt here until it's just done. So let me do that quickly. So I went to the to the nether to get the um get the lava. The lava is for cooking the stuff here. As you can see here, there is back there you can see it. The trap door in front of that. And then that is just it will cook the algal blend. And we're gonna get the Brits here. So, um, we're up to almost, well, 22, 21, almost 21 stacks. That's pretty crazy. Um, the plan is that the bricks leave here and be flung over there to go into the basin. Um, thought about this here, this. This will not work because the end of sight, whatever, will come from there, fling into here, so this is in the way. That is easily fixed by getting the wrench here. But we need to get um one of the gear shift, the uh what do you call it? The, um, gear, what the hell is it called? The gearbox. Oh, I've been dealing with these things for, for a few hours and I've honestly forgotten my, my series right now. Well, anyways, yeah, we need to give me a kit. We need to get a gearbox and connect this to somewhere, somewhere around here, right there. So this is rotating, so that's good. But yeah, we need to figure this out. So do another quick Jeffy for you guys. All right, see you in a sec. So as you can hear, I. Finally finish this, but we have to bring this alloy and all the way over there. So um yeah, that's the thing. Um uh, no idea how we can do that, but we do have this automated now. Which is really, really nice. 
Damn, just like that. And, um... Okay, do we have two stacks? We can make 17 of them. 17 endocyte machines. Well, I did some editing for... For this video, and, um... It's up to... 11 minutes right now. And I want to fix this. This issue we're having that I want to bring these, um, and the site, uh, and the site alloy and move it over there. So this basin setup would be over here instead. So the basin would be like. Right above this. So let's do this together here. Since we have the time. Um, let's go over here. Take this setup. Down. Fix the rest of that later. Um, let's see here. So we would have to bring this guy. Let's see. It's just working for nothing though. Just click. This needs to stop over here. We don't want that stuff going out unnecessarily. So we'll take this down. We will leave the the uh what do you call it? The shaft there. Where's the shaft? Here it is. And then um yeah, we'll leave the shaft here. Just like that. So that's still rotating. And then this setup needs to needs to move as well. Then one more setup over here where we're throwing the um and the site cobblestone. So um here we take this down. And then just let me calculate some things here. So we will bring this out to somewhere around here, like like over here. So what we'd have to do first is bring the basin set up. So I'm gonna set this up here. Just to show you where the where this will be and then Fix some off screen time and fix this up. So it was working for us. So I'll show you. Yeah, this right here. So this will be where the, the basin is. We're a little too close. And there you go, that's what I'll just click this. So it doesn't come out yet. And then we'll have the mixer here. And then we need to get some rotation energy. So the end of sight. And we will be made into here. So let me fix this up. Well, this took so much longer than than expected, um, longer than intended. We finally automated everything related to the, um, kinetic mechanism. And right now I'm just doing, like, an overflow chest. That's what I'm doing here. Um, just to see if things just 
don't go into the drawers, they, they go into this chest instead of just dropping on the ground. And if there's a ridiculous amount of entities on the ground, they will just start lagging things. So, uh, I really wonder what we want to do now. Um, well, uh, let's take a, um, a quick nap here and just review things. So, um, yeah, I think we did a good job so far. Um, I'd like to explain the things here. So, um, let's see here. Um, we moved all set up, like, like I said, and it was such a headache to, to move things. Um, I had the chain drive up there and then add it down there and just change so many things. It was making things go backwards and yeah, we moved the chain drive from down there to up there and it's working as intended. So let's see. Yeah, like it was over there. So now it's over here. So yeah, it's super, super nice. Everything is just in one area. So, um, these things should be working right now. Uh, I would wonder, wonder why it's not, it's not working right. Um, let's see. Well, um, found out what the issue was. There's a piece of dirt here and it was preventing things from, from working and I also noticed that this, this iron, uh, saw or whatever saw, it does get durability. So you can see down there, I never used this, but the durability went down. Not consumed in the assembly process, but it does take durability. That's something that I've noticed. Let's put this into the into the filter just just in case. See here. Can you just click this, please? Really, you just have to go down slightly like that, and it makes it not work. Come on, game, please. Let me click this. There we go. Apply filter. There we go. So now, what we gotta do is, well, this is working. I would think. Um, I notice this thing too. It makes it fly, which is so awesome. To me, that's awesome. Do you? I don't know. I'll we'll do that. That will fly over 16. And that tree is not in the way. That's cool. Okay, so this is why I am overflow. But we don't have enough iron. To make the um to make the shoots because I moved one of the shoots somewhere else. And yeah, that's more of a priority than than random items going here. So now we got the Anderson cobblestone coming over there. Um the Algal or yeah, the Algal bricks come over here. But now we got plenty of count, but no clay. Um, um, we need to get some of these uh, strainers and 
Um, once we get into the brass age and get into some things, we can automatically just craft things. So what I want to do in the future is craft, like, automatically craft strainers. So what we have to do specifically for that is we have to automate a lot of things here. So um, I save some things here. I don't remember if I saved it there. No. What I want to make is these. We got sticks. We have plenty of wood. We use make sticks like that. Um, there is a drawer that that specifically has sticks. So that can be fed into a flinging apparatus. I wonder. Um, but we need to make this canvas. We get canvas from this method here. Wait for the wrong thing. And this comes from straw. Where does straw come from? It comes from rice. So this will be the automated process that um so we would have to get some some rice and do it that way. Or just batch craft a bunch of this. Like I have a knife and just um, get all the crops and get a bunch of straw, bunch of straw. Yeah. So let me take this knife and come over here. So what we need to do is mine everything, and that will give you the, the straw. Specifically, on the wheat. Oh yeah, 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 just the wheat. Okay, cool. So let me make this, uh, several of these, of these strainers, and, and I'll be back. So I made some strainers here. I think I'll just manually craft these strainers, um, until we get to the brass age where we can deal with that and automate the trainers. What was that noise? You know, some of these birds sound like their footsteps. If somebody really was like, having these bird noises, make them sound like birds all the time because Sometimes you hear footsteps, you think it's a creeper creeping behind you, and one time you think, oh, it's, it's just a bird behind me, then boom, it's a creeper. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. So anyway, yeah, we will automate the production of these strainers in, in, in the future, or or make them unbreakable, which is possible in this fact. Um, so I'll put these strainers here, like I have done before. I mean, it's not like that often. Um, I would say maybe, yeah, it's just, it's just, um, Manually crafting these things for for a little while. Um, but now we will get back into making the clay. We're getting the sand washed and turned into clay. Um, so um, let's do one quick thing here. I set up a void drawer, but um. I did not lock that drawer, and that drawer is for specifically 
regular cobblestone. So it's not rough right now, so the andesite cobblestone is being voided. So that's not a good thing, because the andesite um, cobblestone to make, uh, to make things working. So what we will do here is lock these drawers, all of them, and if any of them go over that amount, um, I want to avoid them. It is really, really soon here. Oh, uh, yeah. That was an issue right there. It just voided the combo. So, yeah, that is what I was talking about there. Now, cobblestone and endocent cobble is going through. So, we got to get a piece of regular cobble. Let's see here, where is it? Of course, there's none here. Why, why would there be? Why would this be easy? And I could just remove this temporarily. These things will just go into into this chest. So let's see here. Yep. Let's go back down here. Get a regular cobble and put in that empty locked drawer. There we go, we got that. And we got the um cobblestone in the in the drawer there. So anything passes it through here will be in the side cobble. And any cobble will go into over here. There is a chute going down into a uh, yeah, first I had to do that. I did not want the uh, dirt to go there, so we got that going for us. Um, so what I want to do in the next episode is that I want to get the regular cobblestone and convert it into into iron. So. You know what? In the next episode, I want to do some exploration. And the episode after that will be more of the, um, more of the progression. So let me take a quick nap here. And I think I will call it here. So, um, if you enjoyed this episode, or learn at least one thing. Leave a comment below, like the video, and subscribe. All of those things are free to do, so, so why not take the time? Take five seconds or less and do that. It will help you more than it will help me because, I mean, this is some valuable information for this mod pack, right? If you think it is. Or just let me know in the in the comments below. What should I improve? What should I not do? What should I keep doing? Um yeah, let me know below in the comment section. So I will catch you next time.